welcome to Five Points Restaurant. My name is Anna. We're located on 31 Great Jones between Lafayette and Bowery. Today we're featuring several of our cocktails made with Bulldog Gin. We're showing you how to make it at home for your parties, for your office, for your own personal pleasure. My favorite cocktail here at Five Points was my first love was the lavender dim. So today I'm going to show you how to make the lavender dim. First things first, you want to take a rocks glass and fill it with a lot of ice. The more ice, the better. A good cocktail needs to be nice and chilled so that you can chill. Take your jigger, two ounces of Bulldog Gin. Two ounces. We have fresh squeezed lime juice. I recommend we actually fresh squeeze all of our juices and our purees in house so it's already prepared. We're going to do a half ounce. Depending if you'd like a little bit more tart, I use an ounce, but today we're using a half ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. It's okay if you make a mess. That's the best part. Next is the special ingredient. The special ingredient is our lavender simple syrup. It's very easy to make it at home. You can grow fresh herbs, fresh lavender on your rooftop, you can grow it on your balcony, or you can go to any local market and pick up fresh lavender. Simple syrup is one part water, one part sugar, and you boil it down. To make lavender simple syrup, you take a bushel, about a handful of lavender, fresh lavender, wrap that in cheese cloth, tie it off, and boil it in water with the sugar for about seven to ten minutes. When that is infused and it becomes this really great kind of charcoal, this grainy color, that's when you know the lavender simple syrup is ready to use. You can use it with pastries, with cocktails, you can use it with any kind of food, pasta. It's just a wonderful tease anything to have around the house, and it lasts. So this is a secret ingredient, the lavender simple syrup. We want to add a half ounce of the lavender simple syrup. If you like a little bit sweeter, you can always add an extra dash. So a half ounce of the goodness. Next, I like to top it off with a little sparkling water, give it that nice effervescence. Go ahead and throw it in a shaker. Shake it around a little bit, nice and cold in your hand. This is perfect for patio parties, for holiday parties. And what you want to do is you want to garnish it with either a lemon, a lime, or even like a fresh sprig of lavender. Enjoy.